Hello and welcome back to my channel everyone. So for today's video, I am going to be testing out the new e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. I know you guys have seen this all over YouTube, social media. It's been a really hot commodity and to be honest with you guys, it was really hard trying to get my hands on this. I'm sure, I mean, if I would have looked online, I'm pretty sure I would have been able to find it, but I went to Ulta totally not there i actually went to two ultas and neither one of them were like had any stock and then finally target literally had two colors left and i think they had like two of each shade and this one happened to be one of them and luckily it happened to be my color so it worked out well once i saw that i was like okay that's it we're doing a review because i like i said i heard so many good things about this product i know it's really big right now so i wanted to see what all the hype was about so that being said that's what i'm wearing today obviously and i like i don't want to spoil the video but i love it <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so far, so good. If you guys would like to see my review on this little guy and my thoughts and my opinions, then please keep watching. Oh, I'm just so excited to play with this guy today. So let's just go ahead and prime our skin. So for coffee, for coffee, oh my gosh. <laughs> Clearly I'm like still drinking my coffee. It's like, what, eight in the morning right now? So I'm a little kind of delirious. So excuse me if I stumble up on my words. But anyways, for primer today, I'm gonna be using the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. And then taking the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer, I'm going to be using this on my T-zone. And you guys, it's, ugh, my skin is acting crazy again. I mean, like, the actual, like, face is good, but my chin is just going so crazy with breakouts right now. And that's usually where I do break out, is, like, my chin and then, like, right along my hairline. So now we're going to be using the Elf Camo CC Cream. You guys, I'm super excited to try this. I actually used this before. Um, so I'm in the shade Light 280. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this. I'm trying to figure out how I want to apply it. Well, I'm going to go ahead and just apply this with a, a buffer brush. Gosh, I'm, like, falling apart here. So I'm just going to go ahead and damp my brush with some setting spray and this is the morphe luminous setting spray oh gosh that stuff just smells so good it smells like coconuts but anyways um i actually used this already briefly just like i think i was like going to get some errands done and i had just got it and i was like you know what i just need like a little bit of like coverage well I just pumped it right under the brush which normally I like to use my little palette here so normally I would go in with a foundation first just to give me a little bit more coverage on my problematic areas but considering today this is like a review specifically on this product I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna go ahead and start applying that and mind you guys like I have a tan going on right now so I just tanned yesterday so I have some color on my skin and of course I don't tan my face so if it looks a little off don't worry it'll all blend together anyways I was saying that I had actually already used this already I was going to get some uh, some errands done and I needed or I wanted just like a little bit of coverage but I didn't want to do like a full beat and I wanted a little bit of color correction because I have all my dark spots so I popped this little guy out and I used like literally like the tiniest amount and kind of covered my whole face and I really really liked the way it wore. I had really really good coverage and it just looked really really nice so I'm excited to like actually like wear it today. You know what I mean? Because that like I literally just did that through some concealer under my eyes, put some powder on, some blush and that was it. Which I guess is like a normal person's makeup routine, but you know, not mine. <laughs> so, so far so good. I feel like this color is pretty good for me. And it's blending really, really nicely. It feels really lightweight too. I don't feel like I have a ton of stuff on my face right now. And it is definitely full coverage. So, so far so good. And I'm just going to read what it says on the back of like the little packaging. It says, ditch your basic foundation. This color correcting cream is the only product you need to achieve a natural looking complexion but with full coverage a multitasking dream cream infused with collagen peptides and niacinamide known to plump hydrate and smooth the appearance of your skin while protecting it with spf 30 so i didn't even realize it has spf 30 and then it has like you know collagen peptides and all of those good things 
to also help with the quality of your skin. And you guys, it's like so affordable. I think this thing was like 14 bucks. I got it from Target. And literally like everything was, they were pretty much sold out in every color. Thankfully, they had my color because everywhere I've been going, it's just been totally sold out. This stuff has been a hot commodity. So I'm lucky I finally got my hands on it. So right off the bat, like the coverage is really, really, really nice, especially for a CC cream. Like honestly, I'm really shocked. And the color range is pretty spot on for me. Like I said, I'm in shade light 280. And I really like the finish. Like it's not matte. It has like a little bit of luminosity to it. And it looks like still like natural, healthy. It looks like your skin, but glowing, but better. You know what I mean? So, so far, so good. So for concealer, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. I feel like it's only right considering we are using the Camo CC Cream. So I might as well pair it with their concealer. And this concealer is a little bit light for me. I actually even bought concealer when I bought the CC cream and of course I bought it in the same color that I already had it so now I'm gonna go return it and get like you know my actual color that's not this light because you know I don't always want like that super bright under eye look all the time but I do love the doe foot applicator is that what they call it what do they call it doe foot applicator yeah okay I'm not crazy <laughs> So now just go ahead and blend that out with a beauty sponge and then this is I believe their elf camo uh, beauty sponge which honestly it's kind of crazy I didn't even realize this is all gonna be a elf camo video but it is so they didn't sponsor me you guys they didn't but we're trying it out so I'm just gonna go ahead and buff that out hopefully it's not too late and then you guys know the drill I also apply this on my forehead and my chin. We can do a little bit on our nose too, why not? <laughs> Ow, that concealer really brightened things up for us. <laughs> so now to contour, I'm gonna be using my Milk, what is this? The Matte Bronzer Stick, and this is in the shade Baked, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of this all over our face. A little bit on our nose that's pretty much it and then we can just go ahead and take that beauty sponge and just kind of blend all any harsh lines that we might have and just blend it all together and then also I'll just go over that concealer just because it's starting to crease just a little bit so I'm just gonna go over it and then you guys already know the drill taking my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and taking another beauty sponge I'm gonna go ahead and set that also with that Morphe setting spray and then just go ahead and set the under eyes honestly it always amazes me like the difference that powder makes like look at how good that looks and then like how not so good that looks like just from some powder it's so crazy so now to set my whole face i'm going to be mixing two powders and it's going to be the hourglass veil translucent setting powder and then the lancome absolute powder in the shade absolute patch mixing these two with a big fluffy brush and then just setting our entire face with that it really just adds a beautiful like luminosity to your skin with like mixing these two powders i go a little bit light-handed with the absolute powder because that kind of has like some shimmer in it a little bit oh my gosh that's like so not a little bit <laughs> i'm like i'm just gonna take a little bit and then like dip to my whole brush and then just buffing that in to everywhere else that we didn't apply the laura mercier translucent setting powder and i'm just using a big old frothy brush i really love this brush it's from the jaclyn hill and morphe collab with the brushes i'm so obsessed speaking of jaclyn hill um today is what the sixth which i believe yes or no today's the fifth friday and she launches her new valentine um look like do your makeup and talk at the same time you've been she's launching her valentine's day um like 
what is it? It's like mystery boxes and there's like, she has like a couple sets of them. I think it's like four sets and she launches them today at 11 o'clock and I cannot wait. I literally set like three alarms because I know her stuff sells out so quick and I refuse to be the person that doesn't get this because it's a limited edition. Like it's not going to be re like restocked. So mama needs it. And it's like, Literally, if you get like the full bundle, it's a $270 value for $65. Like, um, hello, yes. So super excited to try that and I can't wait to order it. I am buying it the second it drops. I don't even know what's in it, but I don't care because I know anything she does is amazing. So yeah, I just, you know, wanted to throw that out there because I am super, super excited about that. But anyways, back to the makeup. I'm going to be using the Morphe Omega. No, this isn't Omega. This is the Morphe Glamour Bronzer in the shade Icon. It's like this super big, really, really pretty brush and blush. What is wrong with me? This is clearly bronzer. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush. This is also from the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe collab. And I'm just going to go ahead and warm up my face with this. And then we can't forget about our nose either. I'm not going to do like any crazy contour on my nose. I just want to warm it up and just bring it back to life. I give it some dimension because it's kind of like falling a little flat right now with all that concealer and that brightness going on with our under eyes. Now for blush, I really can't decide what direction I want to go. Like if I want to do more of like a dusty rose kind of a situation or if I just want to be like ba ba boom in your face kind of a situation. So I don't know. I'm trying to figure that out. I'm Thinking I want to do like a different vibe with my bl blush because I'm a little kind of over the like over intense blush. So I think I want to go with like just a little bit of like a rose. Right, let's try it. So I'm going to go ahead and use this Milani uh, Tea Rose Powder Blush. It's or powder blush in the shade Tea Rose. It's so pretty. I mean like hello. Look at their packaging. So cute. And then just dust this over our cheeks. Trying to keep it very minimal with the blush today. And I think I'm also going to go for kind of like a matte look. Not like crazy over the top highlight. I'm going to try. Let's see if we can actually like succeed in that. <laughs> Alright, I'm kind of digging like that subtleness. It's very natural. I'm trying to embrace like the natural look today. So wish me luck. I'm going to I'm gonna try. <laughs> and then now to pack on some more makeup. <laughs> I'm going to be using the Kat Von D shade and light palette using these two shades right here. Lyric and Lucid. And I'm just going to go ahead and brighten up my under eye situation. It just... It falls a little flat sometimes with the blush and everything else that's going on. So we just need to, you know, bring it back to life. So now taking our Morphe Continuous Setting Spray, I'm just going to go ahead and bring ourselves back to life a little bit and like give ourselves a little refresh because it's starting to look a little powdery right now because we have, you know, a lot of powders going on. So I'm just going to go and apply this very generously. You guys know the drill. And then just tap that in with a beauty sponge so I get my hair out of the way. All right, now I'm just kind of getting like a little hot, so I'm gonna go and change my shirt really quick. I'll be right back. So then taking our ambient lighting palette, if I can <laughs> get this guy open, and I'm gonna go ahead and mix all three of these shades, focusing mainly on these two right here. I'm gonna fan my brush. And like I said, I'm gonna try and keep it really light with the highlight today. I just wanna add like a like natural, like youthful glow. I don't wanna do like a beaming highlight. So I'm gonna try my best to keep it very neutral. And I want to focus it more on my cheek today than as opposed to like my high point of my cheek. So I'm just going to smile and kind of start right there and then kind of going back a little bit. I don't know about you guys. This just looks very like healthy, light, subtle, natural, <laughs> something I struggle with. And that's good. So now I'm going to go ahead and move on to the rest of my face and my forehead and stuff. 
again taking a really light hand that is the key in today's look I've been really trying to incorporate this motto in my life when I sit down to do my makeup. Less is more, less is more, because I tend to get a little heavy-handed, you know? I'll be the first to admit. So, let's try and channel the inner... Oh my god, I just scratched the hell out of my face. But let's try... Oh my god, I'm just a mess. Let's channel the inner beauty, okay? So, while we're here, let me know if there's any videos that you guys would like to see in this next coming for, or I guess, the month of February. I have a couple of videos planned for this month, but if there's anything in particular that you guys would like to see, you know, always drop a comment down below. Let me know. And make sure you guys are subscribed. If you haven't already, pause this video, go subscribe, so you make sure you don't miss any other videos. And I would just like to add just a little bit more warmth to my skin, so I'm going to go ahead and use the Hoola Caramel Bronzer. And you guys know it's like kind of like that terracotta shade, because I just want to add just a tiny bit more color. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that and just focus it on the outer portion of my face. All right, so we're at a good place right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and do my eye makeup and my brows off camera. I honestly have no idea what I'm gonna do for my brows today. I'm, you guys, you know, I'm gonna wing it. That's as how I always do it. I'm thinking maybe like a smoky winged liner kind of a thing. I don't know, we'll figure that out. I don't know, I don't know what, we'll, I don't know. I also was playing with my bronze goals palette yesterday, or is that what it's called? Yeah, bronze goals. Um, and I didn't even realize how many gorgeous shades were in that palette. So there's some super cute shades in there, which I think that's what I'm going to play with today. So I'm going to go ahead and do my eye makeup and my brows off camera, and then I'll be back to finish this look. Okay, so brows are on, eye makeup, lashes, all of that is done. Now, I somehow, like, got, like, a stuffy nose. I think, like, my allergies are going crazy, so if I sound, like, a little stuffy, it's my allergies, which literally just happened, like, five minutes ago. <laughs> but anyways, now, what am I gonna do? Oh, 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 oh. I wanna put a little bit of nose highlight on my nose because it's just looking a little flat right now, so you guys know I've been loving this highlighter by Benefit, the cookie highlighter. I just take a little bit on my finger and then just run it down the bridge of my nose. And then just blend it. You guys know the drill. Okay, so I know I said I wasn't going to do highlighter, but I can't help it, you guys. I just want literally a little bit because I'm really liking where it's at right now, but I just want a little bit, you know? And then I'm just gonna dampen my beauty sponge with that luminous setting spray and then just go over that highlight. Oh, and I sprayed my highlighter brush before uh, putting the highlighter on it. And this is just gonna help it make it look a little bit more natural, a little bit more like wet looking instead of like powdery, you know? Like that looks, oof, that's exactly what we needed so i'm just gonna go ahead and put i totally forgot to do this before i came back but just put a little bit of mascara on my tops and my lashes i don't put it on the actual lash but i just put it on like underneath like right where like my lash starts just to kind of like blend the two lashes together so i'm gonna do that really quick and i'm using the maybelline lash sensational mascara i always like stumble up on this name i've fallen in love with this mascara i have it on my bottom lashes right now and i just feel like it's given them so much length and really like individualizes them which is like my favorite thing for mascara specifically for like my lower lashes so i have been loving this stuff i pretty much open my eye pretty big and then get right underneath there and kind of just push up Getting my natural lashes like dark, kind of like blending the two lashes together. And then I'll use my finger to kind of like push it upwards so they blend. Like I feel like that made a huge difference. Like look at this one and then look at this one. I feel like it just blends it a little bit more and looks so much more natural. Now I'm just going to go ahead and spray my whole face with the Morphe Luminous Setting Spray. And... Alright, so now for lips, I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with the NYX 
lip pencil in the shade Nude Beige, which it's exactly it says it in the name. It's a, a nude beige. So I'm just going to go ahead and line my lips with this. Oh my gosh, you guys, my alarm just went off. It's 10. Can you see? It's 10.55. Jaclyn Hill kit launches at 11 a.m. So we're going to have to pause this video so I can go get me some products because it's a limited edition. Or not limited edition. Well, maybe it is, I guess. Yeah, because it's like it's not going to restock again. So um, I want to make sure I'm going to get that product. So we'll be back in just a minute because I need to make sure I get this. And also, I've never used these... Um, lip liners before but so far so good it is a little bit on the dry side so I'm like kind of having to put a little pressure to like really get the pigment all right you guys it's 10 59 and your girl is on the website and I'm ready okay you know what I just realized I think she said Pacific Standard Time hold on I gotta watch her stories it is Pacific Standard Time Oh, it doesn't go on until 2. Oh my god. I wish I would have paid attention to that. So, I live in the East Coast, and it goes live at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So, that means 2 p.m. for me. So, let me set another alarm. <laughs> so, now for the lipstick, I'm going to be using the Sephora Collection Rouge Cream Lip Satins. This is... It doesn't give me the shade. It's number 23. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply that because I'm kind of feeling a dark lip today with the eye makeup that's going on. Okay. I like it. It's a lot darker than what I anticipated. I think it's because um, I put that lip liner on before, which just made it a little bit more like mauve. -y. So that's that. But I'm really feeling it. So. I'm here for it. I'm trying to figure out if I want to do a gloss. Like a little bit of my like this in the center. What do we think? I feel like the matte look is what we want. And that's it you guys. We're done with today's look. And you guys like I am so into my makeup like you guys like I'm not gonna lie my skin is not in a good place right now and I'm sure you guys saw that like leading up to this video and like leading up to this look but I mean it looks really really good right now it looks natural I mean I try to do my best at the natural part but it, I mean it looks so beautiful like you can see it's full coverage but I mean you can still see a couple of my dark spots a little bit but I think honestly I kind of like that because it's not so like heavy you know what I mean it's not like a foundation it's definitely a CC cream but it has some serious coverage on it and it really did like neutralize my skin tone and I actually really really like it look it <laughs> I really look it so it's definitely full coverage and it's for sure a natural finish like I think this look looks as much as I put on my face it still looks really natural and really pretty so I am here for it like my skin to be honest with you guys, was not in a good place. And to see it looking so good right now, like, I'm shook. I really, really like this. Honestly, I don't... I, this is, like, the only CC cream that I even own in my collection, let alone have I ever used another one. And I really, really love this. It's true to what it says when it says full coverage. And it is definitely a natural finish, too. So they really got that down. It feels really, really nice on my skin. The color is perfect, you guys heard me mention this while I was applying it like like initially um but yeah I really like it so far we'll see how it wears throughout the day and I'll keep you guys posted on my Instagram too about how much I like this so make sure you follow me on my Instagram but like I said like I'm really here for this CC cream like elf you are doing your thing and it has SPF like that's even better I definitely see myself using this a ton in the summertime um and I mean considering it's March like that's right around the corner or it's not March what am I talking about considering it's February like summer is right around the corner so I have a feeling I'm going to be using this a ton in the summertime so I really really like it I also use the elf camo concealer today and I gotta say I really like that too it really brightened up my under eyes it's not breaking up it doesn't look cakey and so far so good so elf you are really 
impressing me lately I gotta say I gotta say but that's it you guys that's all for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye everyone